ailing mother also thousand what is he doing with it ailing mother also melods and he is also staying in a rented uh, uh, residence there in dubai but support the children that's not the argument please don't that, that i understand that, melods those are not the reasons sir that i understand melods i completely bought out about the quantum whether it is 20000 30000 10000 but he has an obligation how what, what is he thinking that how the children how the how they will get on with life so according to you with that 91000 you can take care of your children you want a custody of the children so why don't you pay the pay the maintenance now melods he will he will it's not only my it's high time that your client understand that in every whatever in gnwc i will take one stand when it is maintenance i will take the other stand no and milords in the main petition there is an allegation from the side of the petitioner that he is with another lady living in dubai and with two one children uh, of him whose name is uh, with a lady in dubai he is living in their residence in dubai and he is having a daughter also in them and the school certificates of the daughter with his name as the father and the insurance he has taken everything is produced in the honorable court and the children was seeing all these harassments happening and the hitting the mother and the problems happening on the name of that lady in their house in dubai and the children was brought and without the mother july 13 30000 per month as arrears yes, so sir. how much it would come to that's from the date of the petition is what my lords had stated it would come up to 970000 from the date of the original application 970000 yes ma'am now uh, today you are uh, paying how much 3 lakh ma'am 3 lakhs yes ma'am how what you paid earlier you have not paid anything like nothing not even one penny ma'am 50000 was paid in the interim ma'am uh, the respondent had filed an execution uh, petition where a warrant was issued 50000 You are paid. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Even this amount is after reducing from fifty to thirty thousand. My lords, I must uh, uh, submit. It is ten lakh twenty thousand. What is pending is nine lakh seventy thousand. Out of which three lakh is what I've got today. That fifty thousand I had already uh, deducted and then submitted, my lords. So yes. no, at thirty thousand you are saying what is the total amount? Ten lakh twenty thousand from the date of application. Ten lakh twenty thousand. At thirty thousand. You paid 000. how much? Fifty thousand. Hmm. Plus now you are paying three thousand three lakhs. Plus I have got a DD for three lakhs. Thousand. Yes, ma'am. What is due now? The remaining amount, ma'am, that's of six uh, lakh. Uh, Should be more than that. Six uh, lakhs. Yes, ma'am. When you will pay that? Lots that will take some time, ma'am, lots because he is unable to pay maintenance. That's exactly why he has challenged the uh, order before, ma'am, lots here. So this is what you agreed. That I I, I completely I understand, my lords. Uh, it was an order passed. There, I will pay. It is my duty as a husband. It is my duty to uh, pay the maintenance. I am not going back on that. But then, not in the uh, not at one go. He is unable to pay. Has to wait for it, my lords. He he's he is unable to pay, my lords. That is uh, he has assailed the order on that ground, my lords. More, my lords. Another submission, my lords. Kindly see the assets and liabilities of the respondent, my lords. At page sixteen. He's a music teacher, my lords. It has already been recorded, my lords. Is it the case where he's working in Dubai and all? Yes, my lords. Yes, he was working there and then he lost his job. Now he's a freelance music teacher there. How much he's getting as a music? Around teacher? around ninety thousand, my lords. It's not uh, a fixed salary which he's getting because of the music teaching. It depends on the students. Mm-hmm. Yes, my lords. He has no. like uh, maintenance is only to the wife or the children only. Wife Both and mates. the children. Wife and two children, my lords. He had left her in two thousand twenty one. He was very cruel to her. He was beating her and hitting her. She had to leave her job in Dubai and had to take uh, uh, asylum with her uh, father, who is a priest in one church. And uh, he never took care of her from that day till today. And she is doing overnight shifts in one company and taking care of two children who are of the age of eleven and thirteen. So right from twenty twenty one till now. What? How, how do you expect that, uh, Mr. Council? Yes. How do you expect that she'll take care of two children and you simply you live somewhere? My lords, I I bow down to that. I am getting the DD. I am. I've, I've instructed so my clients. Uh, I've instructed. Or from twenty twenty one, why he did not pay anything for the children? If not fifty thousand, something should have been paid. Who will take care of the children? My lords, I bow down to that. I bow down to that. I've uh, instructed my client; he'll comply with the order, my lords. But then fifty thousand is—he's is, unable to do it at a go, my lords. He will do it, my lords. Why thirty thousand is not able to do? My lords, not at one go, my lords. I understand, my lords. It's the areas which have uh, piled up over a period of time. 
he'll require some time to do it my lords he's for... earning 90000 from when my lords from last may my lords so it's more he... than a year my lords i, I must submit he's, he's understand he, he's he's uh, paying 30000 as emi on house loan please, my lords please wait so you are on 90000 from the last more than let like, may june july august september that is from the last 15, 15 months. months yes 16 please. months you are earning 90000 and uh, you happily enjoy not even giving one price lords, to he's, your he's children. paying he's paying uh, his home emi my lords he's also paying that he's also taking off his home ailing, emi 30000 ailing mother also 60000 what is he doing with it ailing mother also my lords and he's also staying in a rented uh, uh, residence there in dubai but support the children that's not the argument please don't that, that i understand that, my lords those are not the reasons sir that I understand, my lords. I completely bought out. the quantum, whether it is 20,000, 30,000, 10,000. But he has an obligation. How about what is he thinking that or how the children, how the how they will get on with life? I completely What's understand. The age? the age of the children are 11 and 13, my lords. They are studying in a good school and she is supporting the children and she does not have a house. No, if you tell the court, you pay some amount and say that I can only pay this. No. 30, court granted 50,000. Then this court said, no, you pay at least 30,000. For 30,000, you ask for time. And some uh, peanuts, you give the, the 3 lakhs and say that, uh, I can understand, you paid 6 lakhs, 7 lakhs, and said for 3 lakhs, you're asking time. Lords, I completely bowed on on that, my lords. He's not that financially he's not financially sound as on this day to make any payments, my lords. He's, if my lords recollect, it was posted on 21st of August. He was unable to get, he was only able to manage to get. He's paying every month. Now, my lords, apart from as, all of, this. as of now, he has not paid, my lords. I have instructed him to pay 30,000 per month from this uh, this month onwards because he said he could only manage to get 30,000, uh, 3 lakh uh, DD. I have instructed him to do pay. one thing. Can you, we can't compel him uh, anything to pay here. We will pass orders on this. 50,000 we will confirm. Let, let them go for execution. Milo. Then the, the, the law will take its own, of course. My lords, I have challenged the uh, order. We will hear you and pass orders. Pass orders and uh, let him, uh, let him, because court has given him a very long rope. If he's not understanding, we can't help it. No, why lords, he pending? My lords may not confirm it, my lords, because I, I would also want to point out on merits that apart, my lords, before going there, my lords, I, I have a DD of 3 lakh for today, my lords. Some more time is granted, he'll manage to, he'll, he'll have some breathing space to get some uh, money, he'll have some There's finance. definite period, manage. There should be some definite period for that when you will do it. Lords, as of now, he is not in a financial position to pay. That's why. That's why we will we'll hear it on the merits of it. Very well. And we'll pass an order. Let the execution go on. Well. Yes, well. please, Arvind. Yeah. Give it, give it to her. It may be recorded. Yes, I'll record. Yes, Arvind. Currently, have paid sixty nine for a moment, Lords. I'll directly take my lords to the assets and liabilities. What she has. No, no. Paid. We'll go to the interim or the order or impure order first. Very well. Who filed the MC? Wife had filed the MC. Why? Yes. What are these two, three, and six? We sought interim maintenance of 98,000. One was for the visitation rights. And yeah, number three is filed uh, for interim custody of the children. I number six. Uh, Blocked ac access to minor children. So you're only questioning uh, before this court, I number two. My main grievance is that man. I number two. Yes. So where is the finding? So the petitions one in para number four, please come to that. Her monthly salary is 63,360. A person with 63,360 will maintain uh, two children and herself. And a person with 90,000, uh, he can't even give a word, uh, 10 rupees to his children. I'm not on that, my lords. I completely bow down to that, my lords. He has not paid his... Uh... It shows the conduct of your client. I understand. It shows the conduct. I understand. Fact, I've instructed. At least had it sent 10,000 rupees to the children for their necessities. Though the court could have understood that uh, he has some difficulties. You can pay 30,000 for your AMI, not even uh, 10,000 for your children. This housing, my lords. But anyway, page number 113, my lords. Para number 12. Huh? 113. Hmm. That deals with yes. point number 1. Exactly. In page number 112, points of for consideration is framed. The first one is with regard to IA number two yes. for the maintenance. Yes, the petitioner sought 98,000 per month for interim maintenance and for education of children. She contended that she is taking monthly salary of 61 uh, odd, therefore sought for maintenance from the respondent for educational expenses of the child as well as maintenance for them. 
with the support of her claim petitioner has filed affidavit regarding assets and liabilities she has also shown the details of come to india melod so when when you lost your job i have not come back to india melod i'm still there so when did you look when you lost your job melod that i have placed it was a labor dispute and then uh, it was in 2021 so uh, when is this uh, mc filed MC 2021 when is this ia filed 19th of uh, november 2021 along with the petition melods it's on 16 11 2021 the mc petition the ia this is ia number 2 to a number 2 so what about his uh, job details melods what about is the details you are saying about when he what about that labor dispute because the labor dispute when he lost his job before losing that what was his salary melods before losing i am unaware of the salary melods because that is that, also important i understand melods it was he over lost a, his salary when when he lost his job last year ha huh. so from what is happening in 21 and 22 is relevant and what is his salary in 21 22 is also relevant yes now what are you submitting is uh, from 23 may it is uh 90000 is his salary melods there was a labor dispute which uh, began in uh, dubai courts he himself had to withdraw the labor complaint i want to know but then he did not get the interim uh, i mean during the period of that case he did not receive the entire salary uh, on that, that particulars also we need to that, know that that particulars that, that particulars i, I don't have it for the court the petitioner shall file before this Surprise. I mean, he lost. Already, he he has not filed his assets and liability affidavit in the family court, whereas he has filed his assets and liability affidavit in the domestic violence case, which I have placed will along with my objection. Yes, sir. It is along with my objection. In my page number twelve. Page number twelve. Twelve. Milots, according to Resnish versus Neha, a person who does not. file his assets and liability affidavit i have my citation it's here and let's not yes no, please point out yes, what for the in page number 12 hmm. he has filed his assets and liability affidavit which i have uh, uh, produced in this order pilots here he says uh, his general monthly expenses 80000 what is the nine uh, yes hmm. he says his general monthly expenses 80000 and on the next page page number 13 He says the approximate expenses incurred on account of the dependent, that is the mother, aged twenty years, is twenty thousand. Where do you get that? Huh? A uh, page number thirteen, mm. and column number C, uh, three, mm. twenty thousand. Mm. In page number forty, next page, he is um, uh, admitting that he has one daughter and son, aged uh, thirteen years and eleven years. Mm. And next page in page number fifteen, <laughs> he lost. <laughs> saying that he is earning a monthly income of one lakh twenty thousand. It is when is filed? Which it date is that? It is filed on March twenty twenty three. That is with regard to the previous employment stall sale executed. Twenty four. We know it's March twenty twenty four. Twenty three March. Nobody 2024. when you are when you are when you are filing your statement of assets and liabilities, you will mention what was it as on that. That day. is there. That is there in the uh, this next. This is the page. next one. Me lots. So, page eighty. Me lots. Let's let's read it. Okay. Let's continue to read it. Where did you say so? Me lots. Page fifteen itself. Uh, uh -huh. F. Name of the employer. Global Standardization Partner Project Management. Be terminated on tenth October twenty. I am not working presently. And the next one designation in the bracket he writes stall sale executive. That was his position. What he was holding there in that company, where he was getting paid one lakh twenty thousand. Further, Melod at page eighteen. There itself. So according to him, company terminated him on tenth October twenty twenty one. Yes, you filed the petition on sixteen eleven twenty twenty one. Twenty twenty. So according to him, by the date he filed the petition, you filed the petition. He is no, he is no more in service. Melod. He files a child custody petition on twenty five. On twenty seven five twenty twenty two, he is filing a child custody petition. And in that petition, he says that in page number, uh, I have produced the petition along with my objections. In that paragraph fifteen, he notes. 
This is dated 27-5-2022. There in paragraph 15, page number 23, mm. the, the husband is telling he is working at Dubai and earning good salary to take care of both the minors and custody of the minors has remained with the respondent. Here he agrees that he is working and he is earning good salary, which has been mentioned in the order which has been passed uh, on IA number 2 Milots. Milots in what the are this, uh, why this uh, contradictory statements? Milots, even as on this day, he is not running away from his responsibility. He will still no, no, take care no. of his... This is the question. Simple question. Yes, ma'am. You have said that when you file the statement of HSN liabilities, you say you are not working from 2021. That is December 2021. Then you will file a petition in the GNWC. You were on 27 5 2022. You say that you're you are earning a handsome salary. Kindly have page 18 minutes of the very respondent's uh, or statement of objections. Page number 18. I have told details of my current employment. I have, which says 91,000. So, according to you, with that 91,000, you can take care of your children. You want a custody of the children. So, why don't you main main pay the maintenance now? Alods, he will. He will. It's not only 90. It's high time that your client understand that in every, whatever, in GNWC, I will take one stand. When it is maintenance, I will take the other stand. No. I bow down to that. Now. And then, uh, no, not is not. it's not about it. Now, we will we'll ask the court to initiate the perjury proceedings again. It's for these kind of statements made before the court. My lords, here in page number, uh, in, in the GNWC, he has not disclosed that how much he is earning. He is earning a good salary. The, it may be subjective. I will take care of my uh, child. When you have to pay maintenance, I have been, I have no job. I am fighting the labor problem. I cannot pay. I am that in this. When my, it comes my lords, to I, I have challenged, I have challenged the quantum of uh, uh, maintenance that is ordered. I am not uh, absolving not myself paying? from paying. Why are you not paying? My lords, I have instructed him to pay from now on at least so that his not burden words, not his, his burden reduces. But then uh, he, he is not absolving from his liability. He will pay the maintenance. As of now, he is in a financial crunch and he is unable to pay the entire amount at one go, my lords. That's, this, that's his problem. That's the only... Thought of us. My lords, July 2023, my lords. July 2023. What was the interim order by this court? No interim orders, my lords. Uh, we have challenged it much later in 2024, January 2024. And there's no entry order. Why are you not paying from 2023? Lords, he's Monthly not. maintenance. That, that, that I agree, my lords. That uh, I have instructed my client to at least uh, start paying from now, my lords. I, I may not have uh, anything more to say Tell on your that. client. By, to, what is that? If he, if he pays his, nay, nay, by September 30th, he shall pay the remaining uh, amount. My lords, it's not only the lords, amount. September 30th. Is... That amount. They are mentioning two salaries here. One, they say they are earning 1,20,000 from the music business. And another one, he is having 91,000 AEDs. And there is two income, which amounts to 2,11,000 per month he is earning. They are telling in the DV uh, assets and liability of David, they have filed it in the DV petition. Now, coming to the family court, at the same time, here the matter was being heard and he was not uh, kind enough to file the assets and liability in the family court. And according to Neha and Resignation... No. All these things you have, you have stated so in your objections at one go. Yes, me lots. Where is it? Please come to that. Uh, that is in the assets and liability affidavit. Not it. that. You have filed an affidavit before the court. I have. Your objections you have filed. Objections, yes, in me. that objections, have you have you summarized all this? Yes, yes me. Uh, where is that? Yes, me. Page number six, my lords. Have you filed your reply to this? Yes, me lords. No, no, my lords. I have not filed my not reply necessary. to this. Yes, lords. Lots. In page number. Five onwards. So what is stated here is 2,11,000 uh, 11, uh, per month, which is not on record. The records itself are clear. It is not 2,11,000. It's very clear. That's, that's... He's saying from the music classes, he is earning 1,20. Please come to the And page. as an employer. Page, page number. Page number. In the assets and liability of David, page number 15. Mm. Page number 15. I, uh, what F3. I found is 1,20,000. 1,20,000. Presently, I'm taking music classes. Mm. It's not a salary. And in page number 18, he says details of the current employment. That was music One classes. Minute. Page number? Page number 18. 
it is 4150 aed rupees 91000 it is the salary he is taking from the employment not the music class music class is his hobby he is a musician he is taking it separately for the children and oh, he is getting 120 tell the court what is this 120000 what is this uh, for 91000 my lords, I am told this 1,20,000 was his previous salary as stale so, uh, stalled sale executive, what he was earning. I understand that he has written it here as 1,20,000 and the next page as 91,000, what he was earning from his music classes. That's the discrepancy here. 1,20,000, as my lords can see in the column number 2, F2, stalled sale executive is written as, as in paragraph. Day, as on the day, you are not yes. working. Yes, yes. My, that my monthly income is 1,20,000. My lords... The stall sale executive, what he has written up in the bracket and the subsequent uh, uh, column where he says that I was working and then I've lost my job. It relates to that, my lords. At page number 18, he has clearly told what he is getting now approximately as a music teacher. He has not told so many lots. It is filed in a different a different case, in domestic violence case. But it's still my statement, and my lords. here nobody has said that it is uh, I lost the job or something. He has never stated in this. He is saying, my presently I am taking music classes and monthly income is 1,20,000 and now they are trying to comfort the manner they want it. And now here he is saying current employment and latest income is 4,150 AED. Milots, I have filed the objection he has, uh, they only, the peti uh, petitioner, the husband here, has filed his objection in their main petition on page number uh, 55 Milots. It is an objection they filed for the IA we had filed under section 30 uh, for the maintenance in which he says that uh, he's, he is not objecting and he is not stating anywhere. This is filed on 6, 26, 11, 20, 22 Milots. Here, here, nowhere he says that he lost his job and he is not working. Uh, Milots kindly produce page number 55 of uh, their main petition. Now they are trying to concoct a different story not to pay maintenance and escape from all liabilities, Milots. Page number 55 of the main. 14? 55. 55 Milots. Here, this is the objection they have filed to IA number 2 Milots. I, there is nothing like they, he has no job, he has low uh, job and he cannot maintain the children, uh, um, the wife and the children. Nowhere it is there. His grievance is only that petitioner and her family members are greedy and money-minded. And the petitioner has left the matrimonial home with children and the petitioner has blocked all access to the minor children and the respondent further submitted... How he is exercising the registration? Milots. How he is exercising the registration? She was ready and the children are not letting to go and finally she brought the children to the honourable court also. The honourable court told the children to spend some time with the father and not to have any influence. Everybody left the children along with the father in the open court and later also they came and met the children. And later, the children only made submission in the Honorable Court. We don't want to go with him. He wanted to take the children to Dubai. And Milots, in the main petition, there is an allegation from the side of the petitioner that he is with another lady living in Dubai and with two one, one children uh, of him, whose name is... Uh, that's that, that subjudice. That's no, their no, allegation. No, that, that is no, their no, allegation. No, they are subject that. That is that. their allegation. In Evidence the, is yet to be they, recorded. They, Objections to evidence is yet to be recorded. Now, with main petition, our allegation from 24 till the end, they have not objected to that, where all these things are there. And here, he is with a lady in Dubai, he is living in their residence in Dubai, and he is having a daughter also in them, and the school certificates of the daughter, with his name as the father, and the insurance he has taken, everything is produced in the Honorable Court. And the children was seeing all these harassments happening, and the hitting the mother, and the problems happening on the name of that lady in their house in Dubai. And the children was brought. And without the mother, the petitioner is a um, uh, wife is present in this honorable court. She left the children with him. Children was not ready, but children was talking with him. Children talked with him for nearly one hour in the open uh, court milots. But the children was not willing to go with him. He wanted to take the children to Dubai. And he was telling that he has a house somewhere here and he will take them there. But he produced a large uh, uh, receipt from where he had vacated. And even there also he wanted to mislead the Honorable Court by giving a hotel bill, which he had vacated uh, three days back. And he wanted to take the children away. 
and these are the no, things happening all... the during the uh, visitation uh, the, these arguments. are all things which are subjudice these are all the things about your conduct of your conduct clients of the... not nothing that the court will pass any order she is only trying to submit this is what is the conduct of the father how is he being how responsible he is towards his children that's what she is trying to say yes me lots here he doesn't show any intention to take care of the children only to put pressure on the uh, wife respondent here uh, that uh, she will uh, withdraw her cases there is a case filed against him for bigamy also and uh, multiple uh, marriage also and uh, he wants her why to you have not filed execution when there is no state? already it is filed me lots and there is a warrant also there is an, uh, a warrant for attachment of the properties and it is then which was recalled which was recalled and, and then the honorable court insisted them to file some amount then they are paying 50000 in the treasury and uh, they are recalling the warrant and then they are uh, vanishing from there thereafter they are not paying uh, anything and this is how uh, he is trying to evade and he does not want the execution uh, case to go on now they are saying the matter is in the high court unless the high court decides we will not be paying anything execution case is happening there they recall the warrant also and the wife does not know any of the properties belonging to him in kerala and uh, she says that he does not have anything uh, in kerala or maybe he must have transferred to his mother's name or brother's name and she has no idea where is it and uh, he is not coming after the warrant has been uh, ordered he is not coming now they recall the warrant by paying 50000 rupees that is the 50000 they are saying that they paid maintenance and it, it has come only recently to her account apart from that he is not doing anything and he is not even contesting his case also properly me lots he has not filed his assets and liability affidavit also she is not even able to go abroad also for better job uh, prospect is because of the cases happening here he wants i have not initiated i have not initiated any cases, cases there minutes against her they were amicably without even one rupee being given there was mediation talks where also he was telling i cannot pay anything you take the children away that was his uh, condition you can take both the children i will take back my uh, guard, uh, g and w and you go these away. statements are he all uh, disputed my lord uh, these thing statements uh, and he will give the children but he does not want any responsibility he does not want to take care of the wife he does not want to take care of the children my lord she is suffering she is paying this month uh, this year school fees also she paid by borrowing money from others she is living in the church accommodation me lots in his own affidavit he is stating that he is aware that she is uh, living in the church me lots in page number 18 of his affidavit he filed in the dv court he states that free accommodation by the church in the column whether she is staying in his or her own accommodation he is stating free accommodation by the church he is well aware that she is living and for how long she can live in a church freely with the children the church do not allow them she wants to take a house for rent she wants to give them good education and he says he has lot of expenses he wants to spend 80k on himself and 20k on the mother he has to pay 30k on the housing loan and after that everything is over and he does not have to give the wife and the children and me lots hence the honorable trial court my humble some honorable high court correctly ordered 50000 but not even 1 rupee has come so far to our account or uh, apart from the check he has given today and my humble submission is that uh, the 50k must be uh, the order may be upheld and uh, his uh, defense may be struck down if he does not pay me lots at least the cases will get over and he can seek for better uh, job at least he can take care of the children and he may be ordered by by striking off his defense nothing will happen to him because he wants he to be love and he wants to leave you and your uh, in spite children. of being on bail he is living he has a bail condition that he should not living to me lots and he is living should in not Dubai. he is on bail there is an fir against him mm. and the proceedings are under uh, the trial is happening and it is for her evidence and uh, each time he is not coming and so the public prosecutor is saying like let him come and then we will lead the evidence and he is permanently staying in dubai and there were so many uh, nbws against him but he is not planning to come and he is with regard there. to this criminal so, trial uh, nbws nbw was are they are pending now yeah uh, they recalled last time they recalled so i think that he will be melods with regard to this, this criminal case i am unaware melods i'll have to seek instructions with regard to this i will have to seek uh, instructions melods because i'll have to dispute this he doesn't contest whenever there is an nbw where whenever there is a warrant in any execution case or in any cc he the lawyers will come 
cite some reason and recall. And then he doesn't come back. Even in this honorable court also, in spite of uh, he wanted to stay, till today he is not present in this honorable court. He, he didn't come to the court today. Your no, client is not present in the court today. No, no, that's, right? he, he's, he's, he's not. not. He will not come. He will come uh, only when there is a... I am representing him through, I mean, he's handed over the Vakadat Nimitz. He had come over uh, when uh, he had to hand over the Vakadat Nimitz. So happily live in Dubai. No, he's going all, uh, no, no, he'll pursue the martyrs in India. He will, uh, he'll end, he will be happy in Dubai, leaving the children and uh, leaving the wife and children to live in a church premises. That's not that, my, my lords, with all due he respect. This was the petition with exemplary cause. That's with all due respect. Conduct of uh, the husband and the kind of petitions he has filed one after the other. And how, what are, what the kind of stance you have taken in one petition to the other. Please understand, I'll post this matter next week. Lakhs. 10, uh, it is 10, 10 lakhs. 10 lakhs, so 20,000. Let, let him pay the remaining 7 lakhs by next week. Or else I'll, I'll, I'll dismiss this petition with 